Alright, so welcome back to our investor series and this round we're going to answer some questions that our audiences have with regards to investing in another property. So I'm going to get my videographer Jolene and she's going to ask me some questions and why don't we kick start the first one, let's go! Uh, wealth management and money is common at one point in the time to select the right property to buy. 1KM. 1KM. Do you have to pay back the CPF grant given to you after 5 years of MOP? Okay, you don't have to pay back the CPF grant. So for example, if let's say you are bought a resale HDB or a BTO with the enhanced housing grant, that amount will be credited to your CPF account and you do not have to pay back after fulfilling the 5 years of MOP because that amount is being credited in your CPF account. So when you sell, you have to return whatever CPF use plus accrued interest back to your own account and you can utilize that for your next property. So you don't have to pay back the amount that the government has given to you in terms of CPF housing grant. The only thing you need to take note is that if you were to buy a second subsidized flat, for example, let's say after enjoying the grant with a resale flat and then the after five years you decide to sell it off and then you want to buy another brand new EC or you want to buy a brand new BTO provided you qualify under the income ceiling and the scheme and stuff like that, you will have to pay a resale levy. All right, so the resale levy will be packed to the HDB model that you have bought for your first property so we have a chart here on the resale levy amount based on different types of models. So only if you touch a second subsidized flat, then you have to pay a thing called the resale levy. But other than that, if let's say you sell the first property that you have enjoyed grant before, and subsequently you went to buy another resale HDB flat, or you went to buy a private property, you do not have to pay back the grant that was already given to you. All right, let's go to the second question. Are you allowed to keep your HDB after the five years MOP and buy another private property? Fantastic question. Yes, you are allowed to keep your HDB if let's say you are a Singaporean. For example, let's say you have bought a BTO, you have so-called stayed there for five years after it was completed. After the five years period, you decided, hey, I want to keep my HDB. I want to rent it out and I want to buy another private property. I want to move to that private property and stay there and rent out this HDB. Are you allowed to do that? Yes, you are allowed to do that. Few criteria. Number one is, of course, when you touch the second property, you have to pay the ABSD on the second property itself. If your first property still has outstanding mortgage, just take note that your second property loan is only at 45% LTV ratio. If you have already fully paid your HDB, then you can take it up to 75% LTV on your private property. But yes, as a Singaporean, you're allowed to keep that HDB and you're allowed to own multiple private properties after fulfilling that five years. So the key is to get the route correct. All right, so if you start off with the HDB, five years, once you fulfill the MOP period, you can do whatever you want. You can own private properties, you can own commercial properties, properties but if you start the other way around you start to own a private first and then you want to buy back a HDB then you have to sell off all your private properties restart the whole process own the HDB first with nothing with no property holding under your name own the HDB fulfill the five years then after that you can subsequently add on your private property so you have to start it correctly in order to own HDB and private property so yes you can but the disclaimer is for PR family nucleus so for example let's say husband is a permanent resident the wife is a permanent resident and then you guys owned a resale HDB flat after fulfilling five years if you want to buy a private property it is mandatory that you have to sell off your HDB flat so you cannot keep your HDB and a private you can only own the private if you want to move on for a HDB flat all right so that's for PR status third question Am I allowed to buy a commercial property during my five years of MOP period? Yes, you're allowed to buy commercial properties, you're allowed to buy industrial properties. So for example, let's say you are in the midst of a five years MOP period, whether it's a BTO or a resale HGB flat, you can not own commercial properties within that five years. You can also own industrial properties within that five years period. That's not a problem at all. You can also own overseas commercial properties, overseas industrial properties. The only thing that you cannot touch during the five years MOP period is that you cannot buy any other residential properties whether it's in Singapore or overseas. How many private properties and commercial properties am I allowed to own while holding on my HDB property? Alright, so pretty similar question to the second question. If you have fulfilled your 5 years MOP period for your HDB flat, after that you can own multiple private properties, you can own multiple commercial properties, there's no limit. The only thing you need to take note is the amount of ABSD you need to pay for private residential on your second, third and following subsequent properties and of course the LTV loan to value ratio and that will be dependent on whether have you fully paid your HDB property already or not. Alright, so there's no limit. Are you still allowed to purchase other residential, commercial, industrial property 
when you are in possession of a HDB or EC that have yet to MOP. Alright, so pretty similar question to the previous four questions. If you are within the MOP period of holding on to your new EC or your new BTO or your new resale property that you have bought from the HGB market, you are not allowed to own any other residential properties in Singapore and overseas. You can only buy commercial and industrial property. Alright, so how many questions is that, Jolene? Five. Five questions. Alright, so we hope that this will answer the questions that our audiences have relating to you owning a HGB and a prior property or what can you invest during your MOP period. I think that will add really a lot of insights to what kind of properties that you can buy during this time frame. So if you have any other questions, just drop us a hashtag down below. Just hashtag Ask Property Lim Brothers or hashtag PLB Investor Series and then we will be happy to answer your question on the next round. See you soon. Alright, so for more information on investing in new developments, do head out to our website at propertyinbrothers.com and as well as our YouTube channel under Investor Series and we will see you soon.